Alrighty, welcome back to the Mode of Anatomy. So today we're gonna go to uh, Carson Coffee, hosted by my buddy Easy. Uh, he drives a uh, EG Hatch with the H2B, I believe. Um, and he should be in the channel very soon. Mauricio and myself got here before easy, which is fine. Hopefully it's a good turnout. But uh shut up. She looks nice. Thank you, sir. She needs bags though. Brian's here. He made it out. You know what I almost popped at the gym here yesterday? I almost got a I've never seen them in cloth. So this is the first time I've ever seen a two-door skyline. I think it's a GTS. This is a GTS, right? I think so, maybe. I don't know. First time I've ever seen a coupe. Big ass S14. Yep. It's an Altima, no? An yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, a Maxima. It's a Maxima. Yeah, Maxima. Alright, so a couple cars showed up already. Um, pretty good turnout, actually. Um, big shout out to Mauricio right there, who showed up with his wagon and then Slim built with the K Swap um, EF. So, thank you guys for coming by. I know they, you know, they're taking time away from their morning. So, yeah, some pretty cool cars so far. Um, and. Good turnout, good different, you know, uh, different type of cars, not all the same. The Mazda. Careful. <clears throat> So like I said, uh, the homie Mauricio showed up in his wagon, looking pretty, pretty nice. I'm not gonna complain. He is thinking of going uh, five speed. He should be picking up the stuff soon, or so he says, but it's really nice. It's nice, nice, nice. It's funny because we've been talking about it and he says that he wants to get, um, if he was to get, different wheels and rebuild them would be these ones and they just happen to show it up show up love the beefy setup on this uh, rsx Definitely more into the beefy setup nowadays, so I like that. And then this one is um, easy. Had taken a couple pictures before on stock mode, and fender's kind of wide. I didn't think it was that wide, but it is. So here you got some wheels. I thought he was on stock suspension. I don't think he is. I think he's on uh, some type of springs or coilovers. But um. Yeah, definitely, I'm digging the, the color choice that he went with. Uh, when I had the STI, I was contemplating of getting the same, probably same specs. I think they're 18 by 9.5 plus 38 or 35, something like that. So, it just works. Looks really nice. And this guy, uh, they were giving me a little lesson. He has the bronze glass all around, except the front windshield. And so I couldn't tell the difference until they were like, look at the front one, and then look at the side now. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. These are more car savvy, so probably you can. 
but um man this guy has everything japanese domestic marketing i mean a front end it's the little things you know like if you're driving down the street and you don't really know about the front end and things like that you just think it's just a regular civic but nice interior uh, both wings i don't know how i feel about the mid wing to be honest with you i love this wing that's yeah probably my favorite wing but it's nice nice what's cool about it is that this one's owned by an older gentleman so yeah you, you see the the type of builds that older older individuals do they're they know how to build stuff nowadays make me look skinny though that's all I, that's all i'm asking and buff and white you got the, oh my God. <laughs> okay <laughs> too much you got the buff part right all right, thank you. That far? Yeah. What do you have to say? My friend's coming with this red one. Huh? My friend's coming with this red one. I should have it. Oh, nice. Let me take pictures next to you. But Jimmy, where are you at, though? He doesn't even watch my video, so why am I even calling him? <laughs> Jimmy with the four-door Integra. It's nice. NK RPF one. This car looks very clean. I mean, it's nice. I mean, to me, I think I would go a little bit beefier uh, tire size, and then um, that would almost take care of the the gap, um, or just lower it. Simple though. I like it. Yeah, these uh, four doors are definitely growing on me a lot more. So, like you can tell. Pretty good turnout so easy thank you again man for uh for the invite uh eric with the no disrespect to a lot of people but one of the cleanest egs that i've come you know to see in person so um yeah such a cool guy the question is where you at though chad All right, now that I got my script down, apparently according to uh, Easy, that I, I sound like I script things. <laughs> so Eric just pulled up. Now, we're in freaking Moreno Valley. So I drove about 45 minutes to get here on my stock as Honda Accord, so I can be comfortable and I don't get stranded. Eric right here, by the way, thank you for the pin. Didn't pay for it, he just gave it to me. Dude, I, I appreciate it so much. Super excited about it. This guy drove farther than I did. He's about 20 minutes, 15 minutes farther than where I'm at. So this guy, he builds some rad stuff and he trusts, like, he just, he's not afraid to drive it. It's crazy, you know? It's just like, here I thought I was all special because I drove 40 minutes in a stock-ass car. And then this guy just, damn. That's freaking dope, man. Wow. Like always, this car is just beautiful. This guy is so crazy. Mad respect. So uh, to those who don't know, you can get this sticker right here. Check out Rival Machine on Instagram. Uh, so it's Rival underscore Machine or Rival underscore Gabe. Um, you can get an old school uh, emblem. It's just a sticker. Um, shouldn't damage your paint. And just like a little old school, old school way of uh, putting it. Sometimes some of us don't like the, the whole badging. So you can just go and put that. Um, But yeah, um, if you guys want more details on this car, we, we did do a video. Um, 
thanks to you guys it actually had pretty good feedback so uh, check it out I'll put the link somewhere um, but yeah I mean this guy yeah this guy at least drove an hour driver in 10 minutes driver in 20 minutes it's crazy it's awesome then the organizer of the event easy I like these cars a lot only thing that bothers me I know to some people it doesn't bother them I really like these cars I like the TLX spec something spec D I think I'm not sure looks super aggressive the only thing that bothers me is that they don't come manual at least I haven't seen one that's manual um, that's the only thing that bothers me other than that like yes I would definitely consider a four-door Acura TLX they're powerful they're luxurious or very slick looking but So this one, uh, the video is uploading as we speak. So it should be on this week. Um, Brian was nice enough to meet with me last week. Um, so we have a whole breakdown on this car and um, it's a fun one. Um, the guy just said, hey, I'm gonna take the plunge and build something without really having all the tools or the experience. So good for him. And then, yeah, look at this. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Another uh, Type R pulling in, a red one. Type R's are cool. And then, um, Easy bra, he's Grom or however you say it. Um, pretty cool. Seats, I guess he extended it. All these things, I don't know. Um, it was Maurizio who pulled, pointed them out. Should have. Uh, 125cc, whatever that means. Um, but yeah. Pretty cool. Should have just not come at all. <laughs> What? You guys keep talking. I mean, <laughs> I just wanted to get your permission. <laughs> no, no, no. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta watch. <laughs> Dude, that, that is amazing. What the fuck is that? A bullet is going to be on? Is that a bullet? Wow. That's cool. Jesus Lord. Ollie showed up. No, I'm kidding, it's not ketchup. <laughs> um, pretty nice. And some teas. That's cool. I am in love with those seats. Those seats are my favorite. The clip that will make this video go viral. Guys in the most time. Damn, I was wrong. Well, you're trying to make that fucking spin now? Yeah. Alrighty, so that was the the coverage from uh, Easy's Cars and Coffee. Uh, like I guess, like I said, big shout out to Brian and Maori for uh, coming out here. Um, I'm the one who sent them the invite, and thank you, Easy, for you know making the time and uh eric thank you so much for the pin man I, I really 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 like it so thank you so much um so yeah till next time everyone